Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. And in this segment of Roofing Right with Dave and Wally, we're actually going to tear off a roof. Yeah. So as you guys can see, I don't see behind us, we got the crew getting ready. We're on this roof, little roof section here. Today, you know, we're going to, we're going to take half of this roof. We're going to start at the high point of this roof because we have such a, you know, a, a big taper design going on this. Not sure how the roof's going to come off, so we'd rather take half. Maybe get it done a little quicker, make sure we get watertight at the end of the day, then rip off an entire roof and go, uh-oh, we can't get her done. So um, that's kind of what we're gonna, you guys are going to be seeing today. The start of the roof from tear off down to the deck, put the insulation, the taper design, install the membrane, get it sealed up, get it watertight. <laughs> Okay. This, this, is doing, wet. this is really wet, Wally. Oh, yeah. 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 Wanna grab that in? Talk about what? Just cutting this roof up so they can get at the bar. All right, roll this up and get it out of our way. See how wet this is. Then these guys are going to come behind us like they're doing here. Grip the membrane, they're going to pull the screws. Just how they installed this type of system. Why? It's just a system they installed back in the day. They pull the screws up, they'll lift that membrane up, just like we're doing here. Take it to the dump. You guys seem to get this area that's wet where the guys are tearing the roof off. I mean, it could be anything. It could be the seams were bad. It could be the leak from that drain. You guys can see here the rust. The ashes are rusted up, so this is this is not just something that happened. This has been leaking a while. Now, this could be an issue. We get down to the deck, we may have some rusted deck. Um, you, we may have to start replacing deck. I hope not, but I mean, sometimes that stuff happens. So, the contractor out there, you got to remember, you're going to replace a roof that's been leaking. You might want to go and look at the underside of the deck. You might have to add deck replacement into your bid. If it's rusted through, you'll be able to see. Take a look at the inside, under the side of the deck. I mean, hopefully, it's not that bad of an issue. So, we did examine the deck. We didn't see any areas that were look like they could be rusted through. But again, you never know until you actually tear into the roof and get into the deck and examine the deck. Another issue on the roof is, is you know, it could be where all the leaks coming from. Could be another reason why this roof's leaking so bad here. The water can be getting down behind that flash. I don't know why they have this piece of metal in here. We'll find out when we get it tore off. This is actually glued to a piece of metal. As you can see, that metal is loose. So water, if that water gets in there, it's going to run down behind everything. So I'm with Jack here, and we Jack was pulling these screws in this batten bar system. And um, what'd you find here, Jack? Show sure what we got here. The screws are rusted and breaking off. So like this one here, you can see this area leaks so bad, it literally rusted through the faster. This is the only thing holding your roof on. You can imagine the issues you can have. You have no, you have rusted through faster than into the deck. Yeah, that one's not even holding. No, that's, that's probably rusted off. See, look at there, there again. So imagine you see the wind uplift. If the wind is pulling on this roof and those fasteners aren't holding, see, here's your membrane, it's screwed through. You get any pillowing in there. I mean, I can almost pull this up by hand. Well, there's, there's the skimmer of the roof. And if you look right here, we have a drain. See the wet insulation? See, it's dry out there. It's wet right around the drain area. Odds are, this is probably one of the big leak issues right here, this drain. You get leaks have gone on this long, basically you have nothing holding your roof on. And in the right window, event, all the things come together the right time, your roof could be laying in the parking lot. If I've got rust issues this bad, God only knows what we're gonna find when we get down to that roof deck. You guys are kind of tearing out the single ply around me here. I just kind of wanted to get a look at this insulation in the roof deck. And I just popped this under here. Um, give you an idea. That's how easy this pops up. You can see this is just saturated. This piece, I'm not kidding you here, this piece right here probably weighs 20 pounds. That's how saturated it is. You know, this is ISO insulation. What's a four by four piece of ISO? This is what? Three inch, four inch? This probably weighs, I don't know, what? Three, four pounds? And you can feel the water in this, just in this area, how easy this is gonna tear up. Oh, 
I mean, it's going to pop right up, um, which it should, but I mean, it's just so water long. Be nice on a tariff, you can get up a 4 by 4 pieces, it's a heck of a lot easier to get to the dump truck, but it's going to come up with little bitty pieces. So once we get that off, then we got to cut this roof and get down to the roof deck.